Martin Scorsese is still seemingly dumbfounded by the vast expansiveness that is cinema and what we know cinema to be. Uh, you know, you'd think that somebody like Martin Scorsese, who's been around for so long, would have really put a lot of thought into the potential limits behind what you can really do with cinema. Apparently, however, back in, I think, the 80s or something along those lines, there was a Japanese director named K uh, Kurosawa who was given a honorary uh, award at the Academy Awards, and essentially during his acceptance speech, he stated something similar, that he's still grappling with the possibilities and extreme vastness of cinema. And Scorsese now being older and, you know, really apparently contemplating on those words from Kurosawa for so long has come to realize that he too is dumbfounded by the expansiveness that is movies and is cinema. The director recently was doing an interview for The Killers of the Flower Moon and basically kind of described this and described how he has been thinking of cinema lately and the fact that now that he is 80, he can truly look back and see that cinema is a tool, a tool for self-exploration, a tool for the exploration of society and the world around us. And as Scorsese puts it, the only limit is the inner limit, the limit that you set on yourself and and your own creativity and what you allow yourself to examine. If you truly allow yourself to go to the deepest, darkest parts of your psyche, you can sometimes pull back some of the most insightful or beautiful or mesmerizing or interesting or useful ideas that you would have never gotten if you never went to those depths. Scorsese, being somebody who seemingly has a very personal tie to a lot of his films, seemingly really gets this now. As he talks about, you know, his own self-exploration over the years. You know, he has a lot of his films deal with things like religion and his own spiritual beliefs. For example, there was, I think it was Bring Out the Dead from the 90s with Nicolas Cage that goes into this uh, guy who is an EMT and he, you know, struggles with his spirituality as he goes through and tries to save lives but sometimes fails. You also have things like Silent, uh, I believe it was called, or silence, which also was a heavy exploration of something like faith. And then you also have The Irishman, which goes in and, uh, you know, looks at something like loss. You also have a lot of, you know, his kind of crime riddled uh, mafia movies, which kind of go in and take a look at and self-examine things like brotherhood and what we think of, uh, you know, the underworld and underbelly of crime to be. And when it comes to something like Killers of the Flower Moon, this is something something that explores both our history as well as a lot of the misdeeds that was done by our government. So Scorsese has gone on to start using the tools to question everything, not even just self-examination, but again, examination of those around him and examination of the traumas of the past. Knowing that this is a lens to look at Killers of the Flower Moon by is definitely very interesting and considering, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio and Robert De Niro always bring, you know, the A1 sauce when it comes to their roles, I am absolutely excited to see this and, you know, seeing Scorsese still talk with such passion and love for an art form that he truly has mastered over the years is so inspiring and overall just a very very beautiful thing to see and I hope one day to have as much admiration for this passion and this hobby and this medium of art and beauty that I can you know look back and say hey even I still know that there's so much more that can be done. What do you guys think? Do you think that Killers of the Flower Moon is going to be good or bad? Do you intend on seeing it? Let me know in the comments down below. Besides that, you can follow us here for more movie news and reviews. You can follow us on Movie Sessions for movie trailer reviews, the Game and Sessions for gaming content, Crazy Rocky for variety content, and the Tri Podcast for our podcast channel. And we also have a Discord linked down below so you can talk with us about movies and video games. All right, guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Today's news. Three little pigs have just built a house of straw. <laughs> you ain't blowing down. Now you ain't blowing.
this thing, you ain't blowing down shit. So. Set I up and I buff just to blow the walls down. It's supposed to know the world just to keep me on the ground. I ain't trying to take a live, I'm just trying to stay around. But these demons in my head, yeah, they never backing down. Set I up and I buff just to blow the walls down. It's supposed to know the world just to keep me on the keep me on.